Jazz Club with Futaba. That's what that means. I see. Do, 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 do. What do you want to do? Do, do, do. Hey. Do, 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 do. Oh. I guess I couldn't invite Harry to darts and I can't invite Harry here because she's just, you know, she's dealing with shit. Hmm. Okay, here we go. What's she going to learn this time? Hey, thanks for coming in. The cover charge is 3,000. Yep, yep, yep. Yippity, yippity, yappers. Okay. This is the last thing and then we'll have exams in the morning. There's a lot of hype underground. This is getting real good. I don't know if that's different dialogue to last time. I can't remember. This drink. What is this flavor? Supreme or ultimate? Whatever it is, it's good. Hey, hey. So, um, I know people tend to get the wrong idea about Sujiro, but... He actually has a very big heart. Even though he seems to complain a lot, he always ends up getting me the things I ask for. Ah oh yes, truly the mark of a good parent. That they always buy you whatever you ask for. I'm not so sure that's the mark of a good parent, Futaba. That's why I take care of all the stuff he buys for me. Well, that's good. And if something breaks, I try and fix it myself. Okay, that's all definitely different. Chatted for a bit. What does That's... she get? Oh, I gotta go home soon. Sajuro's gonna start worrying. It's not bad spending a day outdoors every now and then. My thanks, Peter. What did she get? Support plus two. Oh. Oh, no, it's not just a better version of whatever it was before. I think it was only Masukunda before. Now it's Masukunda and Marukunda. Marakunda. Is I think Ra is the uh, attack up, right? Didn't she already give us attack up sometimes? Hmm. But still, good, good shit. Thanks for today. I enjoyed the jazz club. Jeez, I can't tell you how nervous I was. But it ended up being pretty fun. Let's go home, Peter. Okay. Now I'll just make like a dog and go back home. Fuck, I just realized I didn't get Kawakami to do a drink. Monday. Exam day. Uh. I need to remember to get Kawakami to give me the SP stuff every time. Pulling all-nighters is the worst. I really should have started studying sooner. At least the school festival's soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Yeah, but are they still going to hold it? It might get cancelled. Don't say that! You're bumming me out before the exams! Things are bad enough as is. If they cancel the festival, the students will riot! Oh boy, exam time. Oh boy. Although that being said, I did fucking smash them last time. I feel like I've got the hang of the kind- Because the first time was like the very first ones I didn't do great on because I wasn't like looking out for the right info. I thought it would just be asking like repeats of questions we asked in class kind of thing and it's actually like finding wider knowledge from within the conversations we have and stuff. So I smashed it the second time. We'll see how it goes this time. Ho unless they get harder every time. I wonder if they get harder every time. Did you hear those rumors? She's so lucky. It's almost like her test scores don't matter. I wonder if they really are from our school. The teachers are doing a 180 on the honor student. She's on the podium? Good for her. Sick. We stand Kasumi. We absolutely stand Kasumi. Oh, hello. What's going on here? The Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were going to change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Yeah, bants. Good banter. Good banter. Better murder. Cheeky banter. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? Yeah, he shouldn't have been such a fucking Jabba lookalike, should he? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Here's your calling card. Quiet down. 
I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Oh boy, what an exciting prospect. Well, shall we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. <laughs> In the words of the dude from a TV show that only English people who were young at the same time as me will know, called Raven, I think. Let the challenge begin. <laughs> and he fucking stamps his little fucking staff on the ground with the raven on top. Math. Counting both black and white surfaces, how many surfaces are there in total on a soccer ball? Before that even comes up, I think I know that. I think that's 32. 18, 24, 32. I'm pretty sure it's 32. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Nice. Sweet. Mm. It's a good start. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide an explanation for why the soccer ball is only comprised of the colors black and white. Soccer balls... Didn't the teacher say that the number of colors used to be different? Do you remember? It used to be flashier, it used to be one color, it used to be three colors. I think it was just a single color before, right? And then they changed it. Right, it was only one colour, but that wouldn't really grab your eye. Oh, yeah, I remember. I think she said that unlike now, soccer games were broadcasted with no commentary, black and white picture, no visuals. It would make sense if it was black and white picture, because that would mean the ball would show up in stark contrast, black and white. Right, a single coloured ball would be hard to spot in black and white. So they changed the colour of the ball to make it easily identifiable on TV. Yep. You finished in time. Ahem. Time is up. Please put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. Oh god, the old fucking... The moderators will come around and collect your paper. Please sit in complete silence. Do not look at other students' work until you leave the hall. Or until they've had it picked up or whatever. Oh god. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? Bandwagoning student. You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Yes, thieves loving student. We have no choice but to stand. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. No! Thieves loving student! Why would you forsake me like this? He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Now everyone. This is the second day of your exams. Please begin. Who conducted executions using the guillotine? Louis the Fifteenth, Joseph Ignacy Guillotine, Charles Henry Sanson. This is a trick question because that was the answer to something. I think it was the answer to who created the guillotine because I remember thinking it was too obvious and then it wasn't. But it wasn't who conducted executions using it. It was who created it. It was the guillotine dude. I think the person who actually conducted the executions was Sansa. Ooh, we can do this. Sweet. Sounds about right. This is going pretty fucking well, man. What is the reason that most people cannot become a cormorant fisherman of Nagarasawa? It requires an apprenticeship. It's a hereditary profession. They don't have the guts. Well, it's not going to be that. That wouldn't be an exam question. Fuck, I don't know this one. <laughs> it's definitely not they don't have the guts, because that just wouldn't be a question. Uh, it requires an apprenticeship, or it's a hereditary profession. Well, if most people cannot... M like, if it's, if it's an apprenticeship, anyone can apply for an apprenticeship, right? So... Probably hereditary, because that would mean that if you're not born into it, that's it. You literally cannot get into it, whereas this way, you'd still have a decent shot. So I think hereditary. Ooh, we can do this. Nice. Big Pog. 
I've got this shit fucking down, dude. Wednesday. The Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. And they're listening in on you right now! <laughs> Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. And you're next. <laughs> now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a phantom thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. For real? Oh crap. You think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. Uh-oh. I hope the cops catch him. Rip that guy. Okay, class, let's get started. Today is the third day of exams. Go ahead and start. What is the meaning of robota? The etymological root of robot. A mechanized doll, slave labor, the labor class. Mr. Roboto. Ooh, we can do this! Nice. Which of the following describes the density of stars in outer space? Three sesame seeds in your hand, three melons in the Atlantic, three bees in all of Europe. Huh. I don't know, man. Three sesame seeds in your- the density of stars in outer space. It can't be three sesame seeds in your hand. Assuming your hand is the space and the seeds are the stars. That's tiny, so it's not that. It's like, there are hardly any fucking stars when you, like, actually look at the comparison. Melons are probably too big. Bees are tiny. I don't actually know how big the Atlantic is, but it's got to be smaller than Europe. So, melons being bigger in a smaller area compared to bees being smaller in a bigger area, it's probably bees in all of Europe. Ooh, we can do this! Nice! Today is the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy I might start yawning. Is this the one where he just writes it himself? You did perfectly. I can't wait to see your score. Well, I mean, we haven't done today's exam yet, but I'm, yeah, that's the one he just does in his own time, right? The police are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. It's a yikes from me, dog. Seriously? Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. Oh boy. P P P P. It's me. There's something I want to talk to everyone about. I'll be at the hideout. I mean, our place. Yeah. What's up, girl? What's up? What's up? Hey, it's best boy. It's open. Come in. Um. Oh, Haru wants to see the counselor. Oh, Haru. I just want to give her fucking hugs. Welcome. Ah, you're the third year Okumura-san, correct? So good to see you. Please, have a seat. <sighs> Are you okay? Huh? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. I did come here because I wanted to, but I'm not exactly adept at saying what's on my mind. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not all that great at chatting with people either. Excuse me? Oh? <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. How about some snacks? No need to be modest here. You have my thanks. Thank you. I'm alright though. Must be pretty weird, right? I came here for counseling, but 
I can't seem to say anything. Well, not weird in the least. Just take your time. We'll go at whatever pace you need. And if you still don't feel comfortable by the end of our time, well, just have some tea and head on home for the day. I do enjoy tea time. Perhaps I'll feel more relaxed if I think of all this in that way. Quite. Absolutely. Nobody's going to de-stress if they come in here all worked up like, I have to talk right now. Thinking of this as just sneaking away to relax with some tea would probably help you feel more open. Relaxing with some tea. I do that quite often, but on my own. Do you find that more relaxing? Yes. The people closest to me in my life, they don't really feel like people I could sit and enjoy some tea with. Even my family was always focused solely on work. I see. So, was mealtime essentially the same setup as tea time? Yes. Meals were where we actually ate together. Oh, no. Meals where we actually ate together were almost always uptight dinners at work-related events. I see. I've never been to upscale social events, so I'm not sure if I should ask this, but, well, didn't you ever feel lonely? I... Lonely? Hmm, yes, I think so. If I were given the chance, I would have only wanted to spend more time with my family. Why don't we call it a day now? Feel free to stop by again, anytime you like. Um... Oh, yes. I do apologize. It seems I extended this tea time much longer than I had intended. <laughs> You've been here about two minutes, my girl. <laughs> no problem at all. If anything, I'm happy to hear it. I'll make sure to pick up snacks that pair well with tea. Ah, we love Maruki! We fucking love Maruki! Pee 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 pee. I received word from Futaba-chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until we meet, though, so I'm going to go take care of my flowers first. I'll see you later. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. Oh, yeah? Sure. <sighs> How troubling. Voiced. We love to see it. Do you want some help? Oh! Ooh. Have you come up here to assist me? I know what this will be. This will be unlocking her fucking confidant, won't it? You, um, heard that, didn't you? That will be why I couldn't take her to fucking billiards and or darts and stuff. Because uh, it wasn't because she was busy. I mean, it was because of that also. But it's because she wasn't actually an unlocked confidant yet. Right. I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. I'm sure I got plenty of comments telling me that in the other episode. It's just... so much has happened to me lately. Any way I can help? Well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Yeah, I bet. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Ooh. So, uh, how about we get married? <laughs> Which means suddenly I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. Well, luckily, you most certainly now have the money to hire someone who does. Hire a team of people who do. Are you going to be okay? I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just... I know I'm the president's daughter, but I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that... Lately, I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets? Stocks? Well, that's good that you're taking advice. It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. Yeah, that'll happen. I can trust. 
often they try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. Yeah. I, I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. There is a simple solution. Give all of your cash to me. And then you won't have to worry anymore. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. Want to form a fucking contract, the my dude? The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Contract, mm. contract, um, contract. If it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? Contract! In return, I'll... Hmm... What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. You can teach me how to floof my hair in that special way that only you know how. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. Why would I need gardening? To be honest, <laughs> this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? Sure thing. What the fuck are her abilities going to be if they're I vegetables? I grew these right here in these very planters and harvested them myself not too long ago. Obviously, don't tell me. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... I want to try them. <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. Just kidding. I like pudding. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. Yeah? I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Oh yeah? Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Sure. <laughs> Try asking a Dokimura Foods. That's a great idea. Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. Contract! I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Contract! Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Wait, are you serious? We're not fucking forming a confidant vow thing? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. You're screwed every time, my man. Get used to it. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Oh? Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So someone used the Medjet name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? I feel like this is very plot convenient that Futaba only just notices this now. It feels like Futaba is good enough at what she does that she would have noticed this before in reality. It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? 
Perhaps they use the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. Oh? There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. Okay, I thought for a moment she was implicating Mishima there. For real? For real? On vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. Oh, now that is interesting. They manipulated it so that we'd be more likely to go after him? So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? Interesting. I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On yeah. top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. Two birds from, with one stone for them because they got to set us up to now take the fall. And the cause of the fall is them wiping Okumura off the board, which is something they wanted to do anyway. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way. This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Calm down. Yeah, this doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. Ah, well that answers how she was like ordering people about in the police station and getting the time with us and stuff. Which makes me lean towards that actually indeed taking place in the real world, but it's just the fact that we got caught by the police in mementos, I don't know. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Uh-oh. Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. 
Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Bitch, do you know how many times the Phantom Thieves have accepted assignments for which failure will not be tolerated because we'll <laughs> have to pay three million bucks or <laughs> etc etc. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves. And on Shujin Academy in particular. Oh, this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Really bad for you in particular. <laughs> feel like there's a much higher chance of her figuring out. P P P P. Although we know she doesn't. From the conversations, she doesn't seem to know who fucking anyone is. Things have become somewhat troublesome, everyone. Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she's been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. That means... Yes, the SIU must surely be on the move at this point. That's bad. Wait, weren't they already investigating us though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation is on a much different scale. Hold on a sec. What's this SIU thing anyways? The Special Investigations Unit. An elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I have heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part is... They haven't lost a case against a suspect in like... 50 years. If they come after you, you're screwed. They're the best investigation force in Japan. Are we going to be arrested? Hmm, doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. As this, con as this is a country governed by law, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. They probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now too. Hey, don't scare us like that. It's okay though, they don't have any evidence. Yes, I expect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find anything though. It's only a matter of time. We have to hurry and do something about this. Everything's going to be fine. Every little thing's gonna be all right. No, it's not. Unless they know about the metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. Incoming sigh. Hey guys, you'll never what I've just discovered. There's this thing. It's called the metaverse. <laughs> Some real convenient timing for the prosecution though. Indeed. Thieves den up dartade. Could someone means... have been pulling the strings this whole time? Indeed so. The person the SIU director is talking to. And I'm going to assume that person is baldy politician dude. That would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense. He's the one that fucked us over at the beginning, and he's the one fucking us over now. Feel it. Okay. This has been very, very good. Very, 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 very good. Oh, man, this game. I'll just add this. This fucking game. Good shit, my dude. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time when 
we talk more, I guess, about Sai, uh, and we'll end up being like, yeah, let's fucking rob her of her heart. I, I'm looking forward to seeing how that conversation goes. Thanks for watching. See you then.